So I'm in room 633, even included a notice of the rate on the wall, minimum and maximum. And first thing I notice is you don't need to use your key card to use the aircon. You would have the aircon switched on. It's already switched on once you're in the room. King size bed. A big city sitting sofa. The view is out towards the airport on the left. In the front you have the Ibis Hotel. And actually that is Terminal 3, the train station. My first impressions of this room actually is that it is looking a little bit sort of old fashioned. You can tell with this wooden furniture here looks a little bit on the slightly old-fashioned side. Good thing is there's a big safe in there. It's just an ordinary wardrobe but at least it comes with an iron an ironing board. Which so many hotels which I've stayed in Europe recently haven't included for some reason. So again you have the TV cabinet area looking a bit old in terms of the furniture design carpet is just a little bit thin of the typical Hilton clock alarm radio. Nice new looking comfortable looking office chair, tea coffee facilities here. Looks like a big fridge for the minibar area. A lot of items you can place in here obviously. Including the snacks on the top level. Moving to the bathroom. First thing we have to figure out is how to switch on the light. So use that button to switch on the bathroom light. It's obviously lighted in colour. If at night you need to find it. So coming into the bathroom, you have the typical Hilton toiletries. Actually, they're not typical, they're usually more in the higher end Hilton properties, the Peter Thomas Roth toiletries. You have an oversized mirror, three energy lights. Just one towel, just one adult stain here. Normal size bathtub, and even including a separate shower stall, but no rain shower here. To me, that looks like a relatively old fashioned toilet, but this bathroom still looks very nice overall. Looks very nice, very comfortable. 